In order to get started with model-driven development using XTUML, you will need editor and simulation tools. The place to find these tools is XTUML.org, and here you see the site's homepage. Each of the needed tools has been combined into a comprehensive modeling environment called Bridgepoint. In the Downloads portion of this page, under the Download Bridgepoint header, is a link to a list of available builds for this modeling environment. The list includes both Windows and Linux versions of each build. Community members are able to download any of the versions under the Stable or Nightly Build headings. If you are also a Surface Pro subscriber, then release builds are available to you as well. I'm going to choose the Linux version of the latest stable build. And clicking on the link opens the download window. Since the file provided is a zip archive file and the installation directory is still to be created, I will select Save to Disk and then click on OK begins the download. Once completed, a Bridgepoint installation zip file will be placed on your desktop. Before unzipping the file, a destination directory must be created. There's more than one way to create this directory, so use the approach you prefer. I will use a console window to perform this step, since the console is convenient for subsequent steps as well. The next step is to extract the contents of this zip file to the newly created XTUML directory under my home directory. The unzip command shown here should also work for you. Pressing enter starts the extraction. The last installation step is to include the Bridgepoint executables and scripts as part of the search path described by the path environment variable. A command line similar to the following should work for you. Once completed, Bridgepoint is ready to capture your first XTUML model. If you plan to be a frequent user of Bridgepoint and XTUML, it is convenient to have an alias for the launch shell script. To create that alias, use the following console entry. Bridgepoint is known to work on many different Linux distributions. Because of the variety and differences between distributions, it's sometimes necessary to install additional packages. The XTML community has captured instructions to help with this additional configuration in the Frequently Asked Questions document available at the link shown. A review of this document will ensure your Linux environment fully supports Bridgepoint. The installation is now complete and Bridgepoint is ready to be launched.